straight off the bat, we've got the Han Solo gun. This is literally the gun from Star Wars. It's kind of making me uncomfortable, like, how wet he is. Like, his clothes are, like, stuck to his skin. Ooh. I'm turning this wheel. I have no idea why, but I'm definitely doing it. If we get the other one up, we'll make it across. But to get the other one up, we have to be across. What? Oh, so we're gonna use the board to push Ellie across so she can get up and turn the wheel. What a very original concept I haven't done 15 times. I know. Step on the fucking pallet. See, she gets it. We got her up, and now she's gonna try and give me a high five, but I have to ignore it in order to get a trophy. I mean, I probably would have done this anyway, but hey, left hanging. Just like Frank. <gasps> a full roll of tape? Is it my birthday? Uh-oh. Don't even think about reaching for your weapon. Tell the girl to drop hers now. You're all right. No him. He's my goddamn brother. Oh, <gasps> Tommy. I probably should have figured out he was going to be here, given by the fact the level is called Tommy's Dam. We just had a really long, deep conversation, and then I realized there's a person asleep literally right there. <gasps> Buckley, I heard you had a trophy for me. <gasps> yes, you do. What the hell is that? We're under attack. What was what? I didn't hear Story anything. I'm Han Solo. I'm Han Solo. I'm out of bullets. There isn't a shiv door for a while, so I'm gonna make a bit of an investment and upgrade my melee weapon. Oh, I got a trophy for that. Oh, looking like Jim Casey out here. Sorry, I'm reading Grapes of Wrath in English. The Han Solo gun is actually really overpowered. It's a one-hit kill on any part of the body. Unless you miss, then it's not a one-hit kill. I don't know if this is my friend or not, I hope that was an enemy. Uh-oh, there's a guy camping with a shotgun. Tommy, I'm gonna need you to do something about this. <gasps> he was actually helpful. He just saved my life. That girl of yours, she took one of our horses and rode off. Uh oh? Which way? There. See the tracks? Yeah. Come on, come on. Oh, please don't. No, not more tracking missions. She went into these woods. We in the woods. How far did she get in the span of like three seconds? She said she's never rode a horse before. No, 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 I've been pranked. I climbed up all that just to get shot down. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel, but I have lost people too. You have no idea what loss is. <gasps> he said the thing. <laughs> I did not mean to do that one guy so dirty. To be honest, I prefer the green shirt. It was much drippier. Where is this lab of theirs? It's all the way out, University of Eastern Colorado. So we're off to the university to give Ellie to the Firefly so we can try and find a cure. Your wife kind of scares me. You take care of that wife here. Joel is giving very mixed signals. Now this is much drippier than the red shirt. Stay callous. Callous? What kind of name is callous anyway? That is exactly my thoughts. According to my collectible guide, this workbench right here is right next to a flamethrower, but I don't have a flamethrower. I have a flamethrower. <laughs> I'm not going to waste it all. <gasps> no, I misclicked. No, 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 no. I didn't grab the collectible. I interacted with the door. All right, there we go. I didn't know if that would stop me from getting it, but I would rather be safe than sorry. So to get this next artifact, I actually have to kill the bloater, which is not going to be fun at all. We're going to start with some bombs. And then we push up and use the flame to, or, or we die. That works too. I'm not sure if this thing's going to stop him or if he's going to be able to keep walking. He's going to be able to keep walking. Come on, single file line, please. Thank you. Oh, I killed it. That was actually really easy. That only took me three tries. And let's get that firefly pendant. Woo. Those fuckers. You think they were fireflies? No, I don't think so. I just got a firefly pendant from a bloater, but okay. Uh, it's rusted shut. No, actually, if you use your eyes, there's a chain there, and I have a flamethrower. And after searching for 10 minutes, it appears you can move this orange dumpster. That's one of the biggest flaws with this game. It's not very clear which objects you can interact with and which you can't. I maxed out the fire rate of this pistol, so the grip just looks huge, but everything else looks small and pathetic. And here we have a sh 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 shift door. It's not a shift door. Sh 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 shift door. Ain't nothing here but a bunch of medical mumbo jumbo. It's actually quite Quite simple redstone, really. It's not letting me open this door. <laughs> They're looking for the fireflies. They've all left. <gasps> what? The game didn't end with three chapters left? No way. They've all returned to St. Mary's Hospital in Salt Lake City. And we've got a new location to go to. <gasps> oh, I've seen this part. Joel's superhuman strength is about to turn off. <gasps> oh, oh. Come on now. 
I should not have come on out. Why don't I just use a med pack? Like, I get shot and stabbed all the time, and usually that works. Behind you. What? How are you confused by that? We've been being chased for like five minutes. That's right, don't touch Callum or Calyx. No, not the extra sidemen. If you've watched me before, you know exactly what I'm going to say, so I'm just not even going to say it. There are so many different jokes I could use here. You can just figure it out for yourself. <gasps> are we going to play as Ellie? Wait, this looks familiar. I'm going to start playing as my bow-wielding companion child as they start crouching through the snow. Ellie's so much like Atreus, she even knows where the direction of deer is. Or Atreus is like Ellie, because this came first. Who's there? Come out. Name's David. Here's my friend James. So Joel's dying and Ellie's trying to get medicine for him, so we're gonna chill with our best friend David for now. You really shouldn't be out here all on your own. Honestly, this guy makes me so uncomfortable. Oh no, the clickers have mutated. They're invisible now. Oh, he's gonna boost me up. Thanks, not pedophile David. I repeat, David is not a pedophile. Should I help him? I feel weird just watching. I don't want to waste any bullets, though. I'd say we make a pretty good team. I mean, yeah, with Joel dead, you can be yeah. new Joel. A few weeks back, sent a group of men out. Only a few came back. They said that the others had been uh, slaughtered by a crazy man traveling. A little girl. Uh-oh. I don't think this guy should be new Joel. Let's get out of here. So David is still alive, and there's absolutely no way we would let him live if he isn't coming back, so I am totally about to get followed. He tracked me. Oh, great heavens! Who could have seen this coming? What do they want? Probably to kill me. Just to guess, you know, by their shooting. No! Calyx! No! Aw, oh, man. How are they going to get content for more Sidemen? Peek, I know you're there. Oh, oh, he went for it. He went for it. I guess we're going to have to do this the hard way, which involves me getting choked to death. Well, this is a tad bit of an issue. I am completely out of ammo. I guess I can make a bomb. Don't lose her. <laughs> that was incredibly effective. As long as this guy just doesn't Whoa. randomly turn Here around. Oh. <laughs> he punched me so hard, I teleported outside the building. What if I just drove this thing? I would get away from the hunters so fast. <gasps> no, it's new Joel. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're special. Okay, and we are skipping ahead to see Joel. The girl. I don't know no girl. <laughs> and it does not get much friendlier over here. Let's go back to Ellie. Oh. Uh. Ooh. Oh, she's going to have permanent ear damage. How much do you want to bet if I open this door, I'm going to get grabbed by David? <laughs> what did I tell you? I'm sorry about your horse. I hope you take comfort in knowing that you won't waste any part of it. Calyx! Oh. Oh. Oh, this did not work. Oh, so you're pulling out the sword. You know, instead of the gun where you can shoot me from range. That makes sense. Where did David go? David? David? What are you doing? If he just stays there, I'm gonna flank him. What's up, David? You really thought you could hide from me? Ha <laughs> ha! I'm the hide and seek master. Oh, 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 okay, go, go back to Joel. Wait, no, Joel's here. What do I cut to? Oh no, time jump. There's been a time jump. It's kind of weird, to be honest, that I'm just stealing a photo of a random family. Here we go. Oh, I thought it was a visual bug and Ellie's invisible. It's like part of the story. So we're almost going to drop her off to the fireflies. And she said that the mission's almost over. Everything that I've done can't be for nothing. That's the name of the platinum. So this right here should be the last workbench tool and we should get a trophy. Hey, I never realized they referenced me in the game. Man, I've had to have collected every single fireflies pendant at this point. By the time I get to the hospital, I'm going to start killing them all just to take their pendants. So there's a collectible on top of one of these trucks and I have no idea which one. <gasps> oh, it is this one. Okay, something to fight for. Collect all the training manuals. You can really tell we're near the end of the game at this point because every collectible I find gives me a trophy. We made it to the hospital. I'm sure great things are going to happen inside. Hey, you're warning me this time before you drop a ladder on my head. Oh, never mind. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, oh, and someone with a fear of drowning. This looks terrifying. No wonder she can't swim. She doesn't even try. Hands in the air. <laughs> Oh, what? Oh? Oh. That's a hospital bed, meaning we made it into the hospital. 
She's being prepped for surgery. The cordyceps, the growth inside her, has somehow mutated. Once they remove it, they'll be able to reverse engineer a vaccine. But it grows all over the brain. It does. Uh-oh, to get the cure, they have to kill Ellie. He tries anything, shoot him. I said get up. I'm about to snag that pistol, bop him in the head, and go hog wild on the fireflies. Not to save Ellie, but to take their pendants. Walk. Hey, I was right! <laughs> Where? Top floor. Oh, of course, to save Ellie, we have to go to the very top floor. Oh, hey, I've got a new gun. Good thing we got it, you know, on the very last level of the game. That has so much recoil. I know you guys are probably wondering, like, what's inside this room over here? Come take a look. Come take a look behind the corner. Just just give it a little looky. All right, fine. I'm just going to use this little cooldown time to make a couple health kits. Gear ourselves up. Get ready for the big fight ahead. You actual son of a bitch. Just walk forward a little bit, buddy. Yeah, what are you even expecting over there? What are you expecting to find on that wall? Go check over there. For your safety, I would not suggest that you check over here. I'm sad to say it, guys. This is the last Firefly pendant. No, my favorite collectible. Give me more pendants. 30 is not enough. I need more. Just give me a... Are you a real person? What are you doing? I'm actually scared I'm gonna peek and just get doinked. And through this door, we have the final artifact in the game. Just kidding, we're not gonna get a trophy. I missed five artifacts in Pittsburgh and one in the second level. And there's actually the DLC. A bunch of artifacts from there count toward the main trophy list. Sweet Jesus. Doctor? <laughs> 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 Ooh, that probably wasn't helpful toward my plan. I probably set off the fire alarm. Nah, there isn't anyone there. That was just a regular fire, not a flamethrower. So yeah, Joel killed all the fireflies and saved Ellie, but also stopped a cure from being made to stop the apocalypse. Swear to me that everything that you said about the fireflies is true. I swear. Okay. Shit. <laughs> Dude, this game is so good. The best part by far was the storytelling. The fact that they were able to make a nine month journey make sense over a 15 hour game is incredible. The combat is also great. It was a bit clunky at times, but once I got used to it, it was really fun. One surprising feature was the NPCs. They were actually a really good mix of helping me, but also not being too overpowered. And of course, the graphics were amazing, which they should be for costing $70. Now let's do, oh my, I just punched my mic. Now let's do the DLC and snag that platinum. So this takes place after Joel fell on the spike and shows how she helped him survive because there was a huge time jump there. And it also flashes back to Ellie with her friend Riley where she originally gets infected. Uh gonna die today. Yes. I'm yeah. currently throwing what? bricks at cars, and if I break all the windows first, I get a trophy. My I'm the brick master. Yeah. I just found a bunch of accessibility options, and these just feel like cheating. Like, infinite breath is wild. Like wow, I mean. post-apocalyptic right, life must be really boring if they find the carousel interesting. What's a Facebook? Maybe it prints our faces in a book? Ooh, sharing. Oh, come on. It's actually making me try and share it to Twitter. Seriously. <laughs> Getting to know you. Oh, engage in all optional conversations. I thought we missed one in Pittsburgh. I guess not. So up ahead, I got three situational trophies in a row. First, we have to sit in this machine. Nobody's perfect. That's a lie. I am. Then we have to do this little mini game, which is just a bunch of quick time events in a row. Angel knives. I have nothing else to say. A Angel knives. And last but certainly least, we have to win a water gun fight for this trophy. Hehe, <laughs> bro does not realize I have skills. How is 21 out of 29 58%? I'm not good at math, but that does not add up. Oh, good thing that bow and arrow just landed right next to me or we wouldn't have a good weapon here. Oh, this is a trophy right here. I have to throw a brick and watch all those people get killed. I missed! No! Cover me. I'm moving up. Who's gonna cover you? All your friends are dead. Oh, I just shot the tree. <laughs> I can take the arrow back. Thanks, game. I heard something. Oh, what'd you hear? Might want to go check it out. I have no idea what that could be. 
up there i'm sorry how did you see me i am in a close-off room sorry buddy i'm out of ammo so burning is the only way wait four arrows hold up that is a lot of arrows i think this is the last part of the combat but there could be more and there's more i'm so screwed i have absolutely no ammo or health Okay, the bow does not charge up fast enough for me to shoot these guys when they're at every possible angle. There's so many of them. I have no idea what to do. I've just been burned alive. All right, we got to charge up the bow. And bam. Oh, no, I just completely missed. Oh, there's pistol ammo over there. I've actually never seen that before. That's going to be so helpful. I'm going to try pushing to the right this time. I got to switch back to my pistol before I get jumped. I only have one shot in it. I missed! No! Yeah, this is definitely the hardest combat encounter so far, just because I have such little resources. All right, if I can make it up here, this is the farthest I've made it. Oh, there's a guy up here. Nah, okay. All right, pull out the pistol and shoot him in the head. Nope, shoot him in. I got shot in the head. All right, this time, I'm not playing any games. I'm just running for it. Dun -na -na -na. Dun -na -na -na. Dun -na -na. Gotta make sure we don't get jumped. To <laughs> Gotta make sure we don't get jumped from behind. And I got shot from the side. Well, that's the longest I've lived. So running for it is definitely the strat. So if I wait a couple seconds for that guy to drop down and we make a run for it now, he shouldn't be in my face when I get up there. Oh, I was just wrong. I was blatantly incorrect. Oh, I know that you're coming this time. I did not know that you were coming. Oh, come on, man. It's not fair that he could just come in, punch me three times, wombo combo the shit out of me, knock me around like a hot dog, and I just die. <gasps> Get sniped. That's huge. I got to make sure to hit a headshot on the guy up here or I'm toast. Unless he's just not here. I don't know where the guy who's usually up here is. I'm totally going to get jumped. I think they lost me. This is the farthest I've ever made it without dying. This is terrifying. I don't know if they can actually open that garage door with Joel inside of it. If they can and I lose, I'm going to be upset. Oh, I'm so dead. No, dude. Oh, I made it so far. <gasps> I got a checkpoint. What? So I guess whenever they lose me and I get back into stealth, it makes a checkpoint. Look at this little goober going up the stairs. He's about to turn this corner and get shot. What? What? How did he get behind me? What? He went up those stairs, right? Wait, infected. Wait, it pushed me ahead to the next part. I lost, but I won. Yeah, so like all the guys I had to kill are basically gone. It's just this guy down here and a couple infected. And the last guy? Is that all of them? That's it. Yes! Oh my gosh, that actually took me 42 minutes. Oh yeah, it's been so long. I forgot there was a whole flashback sequence. What, what what this way you didn't say that until so late i was already behind the boxes yeah fuck you i'm not falling for your little prank again of waiting until it's not possible for me to get there Ooh, we've been bit what a plot twist i never saw coming well you you're fine we could just chop off your hand and you'll live that's it Really? I would say the DLC was a pretty good expansion. It allowed us to see a lot more of Ellie, but it was a lot of talking and not much action, which I think is good from a player perspective, just not very good from a silly YouTube perspective. And now finally, for the thing I've been dreading, let's replay Pittsburgh. First up, we've got that shiv door I missed. This was easily the worst part of the game for me because the collectible was right here, but I just couldn't get it. And we got the last Ellie joke. Here we've got the last comic. I completely walked past this the first time around i see this robot on the ground here and i actually remember in the story ellie picks it up i wonder if she does it in game oh <gasps> she does that's such a cool detail so one of the last things we have to do is upgrade the baseball bat and the hatchet and then break them both we can get the baseball bat by grabbing up this table right here and then smacking some people up with it and right there is four out of five and then all the way back in this corner is a hatchet that we can grab and then we smack some zombies up with this one and finally with this artifact let's get that platinum chronicles that's all 97 artifacts and the platinum, it can't be for nothing. It's so conflicting every time I get a platinum because I'm so happy that I got the platinum, but I'm so sad that playing the game is over. Except apparently I'm supposed to continue where I left off in the second mission. Eh, why not?